Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and consider joining, becoming a member of this platform. And let's hop into this message, okay? Somebody tried to get you sick, but it didn't work. They tried twice to get you sick, okay? But it didn't work. That's what I'm hearing. And they know it did not work, whatever they tried to do to you. So let's see what we need to know about this. I picked up on somebody trying to make another person sick around Christmas Eve. But this is something different. Somebody was trying to not deter you necessarily from going somewhere or doing something. They were trying to shut you down completely, honey, with whatever this sickness is. And they tried it twice. I'm looking at this page of Pentacles in reverse over here on this other deck sitting right here. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants you to know. Y'all, I am so excited for 2024. Oh my gosh. Every month up until May right now is filled with exciting times. <laughs> Very excited about 2024 and what all the Most High God has to offer me in my life. And I want you all to get excited about 2024 as well. You know, never doubt the promises that God has for your life. And go into the new year encouraged and optimistic that what you hope to achieve, what you plan to experience and execute in your life will happen. Okay? Let's go. Tower. They wanted you in the tower. They wanted you to face some sort of catastrophe, painful loss, destruction, and trauma, honey. It was a Scorpio who tried to get you sick twice. Okay? That's what I'm hearing now. But you know... There is a high vibration and a low vibration to every card. Every sign. So, you know, we can't we can't show favoritism. We have to read the energy properly. If you're constantly reading a card at a high vibration, then you're not reading tarot properly because nobody stays at a high vibration all the time. No energy always constantly remains in a high vibration. There is some energy, not necessarily negative, but we have a light side and we have a dark side. And if you don't see any light and dark fluctuating in your readings, you may not be reading energy properly. That's an FYI for somebody. Okay. But he thought that he was going to have whoever you are in the tower, but you're not in the tower. And that's why his ass is in the tower. Because I'm telling you, Knight of Wands. Whatever this was, he may have tried to sleep with you twice, okay? Because this Knight of Wands energy, that's, that's passion, that's infatuation, that's lust. That's bold, erratic action without thinking through what you're about to do. So he was hoping that some sort of bold, erratic action would have you in the tower queen of pentacles but you in the sun and you move right on from whatever this love was supposed to do to you okay whatever this knight of wands lover's energy was supposed to do to you you can take it how you want to take it i'm picking up sex you had sex twice and both times, that, that was supposed to infect you with something, but you didn't get infected. Look, nine of swords, I'm telling you, you didn't get infected. Because, see, whoever I'm picking up on, you are alchemist. You know how to transmute negative energy into positive energy. So, if this tower, nine of wands, was trying to put sex magic on you, if they were trying to give, give you an STD, whatever they was trying to do, related to intimacy to destroy you, it's possible that you just regenerated that energy. 
Because, see, you're supposed to be in the Nine of Swords, but you're in the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you know how to heal yourself. This Tower energy ain't know that. Okay? But I'm just hearing that your past medical history shows that you know how to heal yourself. That's what I just heard. Magician, Queen of Wands. You know how to keep yourself healthy. You know how to keep yourself confident. Not just healthy, but strong as well with this Queen of Wands card. This Queen of Wands card also signifies how you are free from this illness that he tried to put on you. This anguish. So is this Tower Energy sick, Holy Spirit? That's what I, I just saw the strength card just tried to pop out. Judgment on the bottom. So his ass is sick, but he was trying to make somebody sick. Now, one of y'all, and that shit didn't work out. Because you have the natural, magical capabilities to heal yourself. If somebody try to put negative energy on you, you going to alchemize that shit into something positive. Okay? You most definitely healed from whatever he was trying to put on you, honey. Permit. And I'm telling you, he's trying to figure out how. How you ain't get sick. What, what she got going on. Because I tapped that ass twice. Now I'm hearing that now. That ass got tapped twice. She should have caught whatever it was I was trying to give her. Why she ain't get it. By now, she should be exhibiting symptoms. Or it should be some indication that she's caught whatever this tower, nine of swords energy was that I wanted to happen for her. But her future looked bright. She in the Ten of Cups. She seems to be harmonious, peaceful, and most of all, secure. She ain't going nowhere. Empress. Justice. Okay? So whoever this hermit tower energy is, they know that what they tried to do to you didn't take. Because what they did, I'm t whatever this was, this nasty pestilence pestilence I'm picking up on, that he tried to put on you, it was nasty. It was, it was stank, nasty, sickening. And I'm telling you, you should have it started exhibiting immediate for misfortune and loss, immediate symptoms. It should already be showing that you have been restricted by this illness. But but you're not. You're still working. You're still thriving. And I'm telling you, this motherfucker is bewildered. Confused. He don't understand how you ain't in the nine of swords right now. And you ain't gonna be in the nine of swords. Because guess what? God saw that. Karma saw that. And whoever you are, look, I cut the deck on the three of wands. I'm telling you. Karma saw that, okay? The Most High God saw it. And whoever you are, you the Empress. You can't. You didn't came out here as the Empress, Queen of Pentacles, with the Queen of Wands and the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you are most definitely favored by the universe. Whatever you doing, you doing right. You having sex with somebody a couple of times do not make you a bad person, especially if it's somebody that you felt you could trust, that you thought you were going to have a future with, because that's what I see here. Whoever this is that you slept with, you thought that they were a Ten of Cups potential partner. You ain't just was out here having promiscuous contact with random folks just cause okay that's not your energy that's not your heart and the universe knows that the universe is not gonna let no tower hermit motherfucker get you sick with no std or sex magic combination when you are living and doing right okay 
to each his own when it comes to how you practice intimacy. If you choose to be celibate or abstinent, cool. But if you are in a viable, committed partnership and you choose to have sex, 10-10, that's cool too. And I'm telling you, I'm picking up something like that because you initially came out as the queen of pentacles, which means you weren't just having sex. It wasn't like you came out knight of wands, queen of wands. You came out knight of wands, queen of pentacles, which means that if you were intimate with this person, it was on the pretense that they were your monogamous committed partner. You ain't out here sleeping around. God wasn't finna let this person infect you because I'm telling you, they tried to infect you with something. With some sort of sickness, with some sort of pestilence. I keep hearing pestilence. Some gross germ. And that germ should immediately took your ass down. You should have immediately shown symptoms and indication that what this tower hermit did worked. But you in the four of wands. You're in the four of wands. You are celebrating. You're enjoying life. You have a stable environment. You might be home, but you be out doing your thing too. Like you be living life. It's like he can already see that you you still working. You still taking care of home. You're still thriving with this Queen of Wands, Pen Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles energy, like you're definitely a picture of health. That's what this is given now. And you're going to continue to move forward in a positive way with this chariot energy. You're going to continue to have ambition and willpower and strength. Most of all, you're not fighting against a disease or an illness or a pestilence. You are staying strong and maintaining your livelihood and your lifestyle. And you're continuing to move forward with focus and determination and discipline. Discipline is very important here because whoever this is, they swore that they was going to have you here. That somehow this frivolous Knight of Wands activity was going to put you on your ass or even prove to the universe that you deserve to get sick because you were participating in intimate behavior. But I'm telling you, that's what I'm hearing from the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm hearing from the Most High God. Yeah, you may have had sex, but they know your heart. They know you didn't just have sex to just be out here having sex, to just be out here being no hoe, trying to destroy your life or purposely expose yourself to anything. They know you wasn't out here like that and they're not going to hold you to it. Okay? So can we talk about where this Tower Hermit energy came up with this idea from and why they wanted to do this to this Divine Feminine Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Can we talk about that? Five of Cups. Loss. Grief, sorrow, disappointment, relationship problems. So this could very well have been somebody that you've had relationship problems with in the past. And I'm hearing for somebody, and this is crazy because I had just picked up yesterday that there was a masculine who put two men onto a divine feminine, but both of those men really liked her. He was upset because he wasn't going to be able to dissuade those men from pursuing her, 1414, okay? Now I'm picking up, because I just heard this, that whoever this Tower Hermit energy is, he sent somebody towards you to have sex with you, to, to make you feel like they were a potential partner, somebody that you could be in a Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups commitment with. But they were really sent in to infect you. Clip 1441 when I looked up. That's what I just heard. That was the plan. Oh, really? Holy Spirit. So these niggas are sending in ops to go fuck 
divine feminines to try to make them sick, Holy Spirit. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing at the end of 2023. And they think they're going to fare well in 2024. Okay. Let's see. Clarify what I just picked up on, please. And thank you. Let's see. Shabu. That's why she didn't regenerate it. That's why she didn't get sick. Because that type of evil, ill-ass shit that I just picked up on right there. Clarify. They, hermit. Hermit. He out here, whoever this tower hermit energy is, he out here is the hermit again. Behind the five of cups. So he was upset about the relationship problems he was having with this Queen of Pentacles Empress energy. So he decided that he was going to take her down a few pegs and try to make her sick. So she can't have no relationship with nobody. Hermit. Lovers on the bottom. Knight of Wands. I'm trying to tell you. It's back out here again. He wanted her to think that whoever was coming towards her was a unified, a potential unified love partner, an ideal love choice, but they actually was a knight of wands, okay? This person could have Gemini or Leo in their chart. They were supposed to hit it and quit it. This is similar to the situation I picked up on yesterday, but this is different here because this is one specific energy a lover's knight of wands. They did come out before. That this hermit tower energy sent towards this queen of pentacles. Hoping to specifically make her ill. To cause some sort of issue for her. Major issue. Something that she was going to be inevitably tied to and couldn't get away from. This is the pestilence right here. Okay, and it was going to start a new phase in her life, but it, it wasn't going to be no good one. Wow. But a light has been shined down on how she, um, bothered she's remaining. Four of Cups, how unaffected. She's remaining. Okay? Because, baby, I don't know what this was that this Knight of Wands lovers was supposed to put on you. But that shit was strong. And I'm telling you, they in awe. Especially this, this um, Tower Hermit energy. He in the tower. Because whatever this Knight of Wands lovers was supposed to put in you, inside of you, on you, whatever. That shit was supposed to have you fucked up by now. I'm telling you now. You're supposed to be fucked up. 18, 18. Okay, I can't even really tell you what the sentences are, but you would be feeling bad enough that you would have probably already went to the hospital, the doctor, somewhere to get checked out. That's how nasty this is that I'm picking up on. Okay, and that's why it didn't get you. You're still remaining upright. You're still remaining unaffected. Very alert. Very on point. With this queen of swords. He, it, can't touch this. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Because they tried to touch it. Moon right behind that. And the strength represented how hard he tried to fuck you up, too. Whoever this Nine of Wands lovers is, I'm telling you, they could have Pisces somewhere prominently in their chart as well. But you really felt like this person was, was somebody you could have a fun future with. And, and this Tower Hermit energy knew you were going to feel like that because guess what? They know you a virtuous woman. You gonna remain a virtuous woman. They tried to make you into some sort of, I don't know what the fuck they thought. That's what I'm gonna say. Cause I ain't even finna try to call out what they thought you were going to become. Cause you ain't become that. 
I'm telling you, they know that shit didn't take. No matter who they sent in and what they tried to do to you, it didn't take. Empress, child. I'm trying to tell you, Seven of Cups. And he confused like a mug. He just cannot understand why you ain't posting a picture of yourself in the hospital or openly complaining about not feeling good, publicly complaining. It's something like he he been waiting to hear, waiting to see the outcome. Waiting now. Waiting to know that he finally cut you down. But he ain't getting that intel. And he been trying to figure out what the hell you got going on that stopped him. Okay? How are you still moving forward? That's what he trying to figure out now. This man think you may have even done something spiritual to counteract what this Knight of Wands lovers was supposed to put on you. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else we need to know here, Holy Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Because, baby, I don't know if he was trying to give you HIV. I don't know what he was trying to give you now. But it was supposed to have you in the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And he don't understand because... It, it probably got his ass in the ten. Look, I'm picking up two energies here. I'm picking up for somebody. This person came towards you directly, slept with you twice, tried to give you an STD. It didn't take. And for somebody else, I'm picking up that this energy sent someone else towards you and slept with you. And they had have the disease, but it didn't take. Okay, now I am picking up something like this is also why you got to just be careful, child, because these people be down low and shit. And I'm picking up something like that here. And I don't even know if I want to get into it, but the masculine energy that this tower hermit sent towards you may have been a partner of this hermit tower energy. Clarify, Holy Spirit, because I'm picking up both these men got it, whatever this is, that that they wanted you to have, Emperor. What did I just say? Didn't I just say that this Knight of Wands lovers was a partner of this hermit tower, and then the Emperor Dam came out. Okay. So this person that you this also why God didn't let these men infect you. Because one of these men, both of these men is down low. Both of, these, you, these, both of these men are not open with their sexuality. Both of these men sleep with men behind the scenes. And both of these men got an STD. A real nasty one that they tried to give to an empress, a divine feminine. One of these men you used to date a long time ago and you stopped fucking with them. That's the person who sent this Knight of Wands lovers into you to try to get you sick. But this Knight of Wands lovers energy, I'm telling you, was going with this hermit tower. And they tried to fuck you up together, honey. Sha, King of Wands. I told you he could be a Leo. I feel like I said that now. I do feel like I said that either you could be a Leo or he could be a Leo. But that's this Knight of Wands energy. He, This King of Wands go with this Emperor Tower Hermit energy. They go together. They, they sleep around. And they both conspire to try to get a Divine Feminine sick with whatever they have. But And this Divine Feminine did connect with this King of Wands, Knight of Wands. But I'm telling you, she didn't get sick. We didn't see multiple indications of that. Okay. Two of Wands. Why they trying to make this divine feminine sick? They need to be trying to worry about their own damn health. Two of Wands. 
You know, he, he trying to prepare an exit for you. But he really need to make sure that it ain't no exit coming up for this King of Wands. Because it's something like that. That may be why he also sent him in too. This person may be sicker than this hermit energy. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Five of Wands. So he thought it would take with this masculine that he sent in quicker because this person really been fighting this disease. Child. And, and you know what's crazy? What's, what's crazy is the karma that's going to come back on these men for doing this to a divine feminine, to do it, for doing this to any woman. It don't matter if she a divine feminine or not. For trying to destroy the life of a good woman. Because you obviously, whoever this Hermit Tower is, he obviously got some issues. He got some unhealed trauma that's got him in the position he in right now in life. And he th thought he was going to destroy your life too because he can't live in his truth. Because I'm pretty sure the reason why you and this person had relationship problems is because he on the down low. Look, five of wands to the death. So this king of wands is fighting death. Okay? That's how bad it's on him. Because everybody don't respond to, like some diseases are lay dormant in people, okay? And some people, they immediately have to fight the symptoms, the effects of whatever the illness is. So it's something like this King of Wands has got more of a health struggle than this hermit tower does like it's more aggressive in his system but if you look at this person you wouldn't be able to tell hell if you look at most people you wouldn't be able to tell if they got an std or not that's why you have to protect yourself and maybe this divine feminine didn't because again this man out here as the ten of cups and the lovers twice so that means she most definitely felt like this was an ideal counterpart maybe even a twin flame she wasn't just out here letting nobody dick her down just because. So if she had unprotected sex with this man, I'm telling you, the Most High God covered her. Not a cups. If she took a slick love offer from him and didn't protect herself, she still was covered. Because it's all about intention. Their intention for her and her intention for herself based upon what she knows and believes to be true. But if I was this Empress Two of Cups, I'm telling you, she she was looking for a monogamous partner. She wasn't out here getting dicked down by any and every one. And the universe wasn't going to punish her for that. But I am hearing, Divine Feminine, whoever you are, you better make these motherfuckers wrap it up in the future. That's what I am hearing. Because you see and know now that motherfuckers be on shit like this. And yeah, they do. Opping all damn day long and wonder why they in the tower. Wonder why they going through the dark night of the soul. Because this tower emperor energy in the, in the dark night of the soul. Behind wanting to be in this down low energy. Celebrating with a man and celebrating with a woman without letting the woman most especially know that they have effect affection for men because the down low men they man they messing with no this king of wands knight of wands knew about this empress but this empress didn't know about her okay see that right there proves my point And the game didn't change because I'm telling you, they thought her ass was going to be in the tower. But she out here is the four of wands again. And he mad because he going to have to be sick. Him and his little boyfriend going to have to be sick all by their damn self because she ain't going to be sick. Okay? She ain't getting sick. I'm telling you, I'm hearing that specifically. And he know it. Oh, he knows she ain't getting sick. 
if any of that pestilence took to her, it's already been cleaned up out of her system. It's already been re into healing and light. And he know it. He know it now. So that's a wrap on that because whoever you are, when you hear this shit, you ain't gonna fuck with this king of... Look, he know, child. I'm trying to tell you he know. This Scorpio, he know you on point. He know you ain't sick. Oh, stank ass. Look, because his ass is sick. His ass trying to heal. I'm telling you, he got it too. Him and this damn king of wands fucking got it. Trying to give you some shit. Motherfuckers, boy. And, and see, that's why I have issues with people who be on the down low. Because they know they be up to no good. They know they lying and sneaking and hiding and doing something deceitful. But instead of living in their truth, they'd rather be out here creating health issues and problems for people. But baby, whoever you are, I'm telling you, you got damn near all four aces out here in reference to how your energy is popping. Okay, this you right here. God regenerate your ass, especially when he pick up that people are per particularly plotting on you to try to cause you harm and destruction. Any final messages? Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords. Because see, his wish come true was to get you sick. Okay? His wish come true was to get you sick for this scheme to go through and for you to be restricted. But I'm telling you right now, you a whole fucking alchemist and you blocked whatever that pestilence was that they tried to put on you. And I'm dropping a mic on that. I'm dropping a mic now. And the universe defended you from this fucker as well. Okay? The, the, the universe defended you from being sacrificed. And both this damn... Look, this King of Wands may not have even been talking to you like that since the second time y'all had sex. That's what I just heard. Because when the first time didn't take... He was still, you know, fucking with you so that he could be able to come back in. But after that second time, that was supposed to be it. That's what I'm hearing now. But it did not take. And both these, this down low couple, they finna be moved on to calmer waters because they ass already up under judgment. And the judgment is finna get heavier because of what they tried to do to this divine feminine. Okay. And I'm dropping the mic, child. People got all the sense, child. But their intention, your intention and their intention is what halted their plan against you. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly, y'all. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. If you ordered a New Year tarot reading for me, you will receive it by midnight tonight. Also, my bookings are still open for other readings, but all of those slots have been filled for the New Year Tarot reading. I can only take on 12 people, so that's all I have time to do. But there are other readings available in my bookings. Check out watamami.com to learn more, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.